Let's explore how to solve basic percentage word problems using a simple and effective formula br is equal to p, where b is the base number, r is the rate or the percentage, and p is the portion or result. As you'll see in this video, this formula allows us to solve a variety of word problems quickly and efficiently. Whether we're finding the percentage of a number, determining what percentage one number is of another, or figuring out what number corresponds to a given percentage. Beginning with question A, it reads, what is 30% of 50? The key to answering these questions is to understand that you'll always be provided with two pieces of information and must recognize which part represents the base, the rate, or the portion in the formula. Notice that here we have a percentage. In reference to our formula, a percentage always represents the R value, but you need to change the percentage into a non-percentage by first dividing it by 100%. So to find the value of R, we take 30% divided by 100% and we end up with 0 0.3. It also helps to reread the question, what is 30% of 50? Here, 50 represents your base value. And what we're looking for is a 30% portion of 50. So let's write that down. Our base value is 50. And let's use this in our formula. So our formula is B times R is equal to P. We have our base value of 50. And if we multiply it by 0 0.3, we'll end up with the portion of 50 that is 30%. So using our calculator, 50 times 0 0.3 makes 15. Therefore, 30% of 50 is 15. Let's try another question. 3 is what percent of 9? Notice how the question is telling us what we want. What percent? Meaning that it is R that is unknown. If we look back at the formula, BR is equal to P, the other two numbers provided in the question must represent either B or P. So which of these, 3 and 9, represents B and P? Here, 9 will represent the base value. And the reason for that is because the percentage is always associated with the base, in the sense that we're always finding the percentage of a base. So from that, we can say that B is equal to 9, R is unknown, and our P value must be 3. So if we can find a percentage of 9, then we'll get the portion, which is 3. Let's go ahead and solve for r. If we divide both sides by 9, we end up with 3 over 9, and that reduces down to 1 third. And don't forget that your rate should be represented as a percentage. So whatever you find, multiply it by 100%, and it should result in either 100 over 3% or 33 and a third percent. You may also write it as a decimal, as 33.33%. In question C, it reads, 24 is 133 and two thirds percent of what number? Notice right away that we have been given a percentage, so that will represent our value of R once we've divided it by 100%. We'll do that in a moment. Let's first distinguish what it is that they want us to find. Now again, this percentage is followed by the word of what number? percentage is always associated with the base value. So the what number that's unknown is our base value. And this, through deductive reasoning, must be our portion. So we have B times R is equal to P. B is unknown this time. And our rate, well, we can do that conversion now, 133 and 2 thirds percent needs to be divided by 100%. Now, if you've watched our previous video, we've shown how to do a problem like this, we first need to change this into improper. 133 times 3 plus 2. In other words, we take that value, multiply it to 133, and then add to it 2. And we end up with 401 over 3. 401 over 3 percent divided by 100 percent. Let's use our calculator. So we take the value on our screen, divide it by 3, and then divide that by 100, we end up with that value as our R. Put that into our formula, 401 over 300 is equal to 24. And now all we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by that factor. So 24 divided by 
401 by 300, and we end up with our answer or our base value, if we round this to two decimal places, is 17.96. 17.96 is the base value. So to help you understand, if you start off with 17.96 and you want to find 133 and two thirds percent of that, it will result into 24. Now for the next three examples, I want you to distinguish what is being asked. So pause the video and take some time to do that. For this problem, we are seeking the R value. That's what's unknown to us. That's your base value and that's your portion. So to set this up, using BR is equal to P, you would have 35 times an unknown R value, and your portion is 7. Dividing both sides by 35 would lead you to R. Don't forget to multiply by 100%. For this one, they give you the percentage, so that's your R value, after dividing by 100%, and this is your base value. They are seeking the portion. So you'd set it up like this. You would have 7D as your B value. Your R value would be 0 0.18. And by multiplying these two, you would end up with your portion. And for the last question, we've been given a percentage again. So that's your R. The what number that we're looking for is your base value. And that is your portion. So the way you would set it up is like this. You would say B times 0 0.435 is equal to 48. You divide both sides by that factor and you would end up getting your B value. I hope this tutorial has helped. If you have any further questions, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching.